Have you ever wondered how and why the violin became the quintessential musical instrument? Well, I've got something that may just interest you. This particular violin was hand carved from Tasmanian timbers and based on a long perfected design. The belly of this particular violin was carved from a King Billy pine log retrieved from a river deep in Tasmania's southwest. The neck was carved from an old myrtle railway sleeper and the purfling and pegs from a seasoned blackwood fence post. As for the back and sides, well, they were carved from an old maple mantelpiece, I believe, that once had adorned a fireplace for many years. The violin is without a doubt a beautiful instrument and in the hands of a maestro, the music is simply sublime. It is said that the violin is the closest instrument to resemble the human voice, and that is quite amazing. Of course, there's no doubting the remarkable design and workmanship that went into producing an instrument like this. If you read it, the history of the violin is really quite fascinating. The point that we want to emphasize today is that the violin didn't just evolve by itself, unaided by a designer and maker. It didn't just happen accidentally. No, it took careful and intentional work with a specific purpose in mind. And you know the same can be said of us. We too were awesomely and wonderfully created. We didn't just evolve. You see, the factors that enable us to exist are too great and too complex to have happened randomly by themselves. For example, did you know that the single cell is more complex than the total sum of human achievement? That is an astounding comparison. You know there's more to us than meets the eye. I encourage you, don't believe the false hypothesis that concludes that we accidentally evolved in ascendant development over billions of years. The truth is that the first humans were created by God in his own image and likeness. And coming to understand that and all that it entails should be music to our ears. For the Message Week team, I'm John Classic. It is our prayer that you will also come to know the great almighty creator God. And in doing so, discover just what he has in mind for you.